Assalamu alaikum and good day to everyone. Uh, we continue our lecture in the um, uh, assembly language. Okay. Uh, now I, uh, I would like to get a, discuss a brief, uh, brief of how in the uh, processing uh, in the ARM processor uh, using pipeline. Okay, we are not uh, to discuss the detail about the process, just to give you some idea of what we mean by pipeline. Okay, as you know that the pump, the ARM uses a pipeline in order to increase the speed of the of instruction to the processor. Okay, it means that it has pi pipeline. It means that at, uh, at each, uh, as you know, most of the instruction in the ARM processor is keep in one cycle. So if we can compute in one cycle, so it means that the other cycle it will. Uh, it will uh, execute uh, the other instruction. Uh, and as we know that, if this uh, makes, uh, which allows several operations to be undertaken simultaneously rather than singularly. If you don't have the pipeline, it means that you are taken, you are uh, executing serially. It means that you have to complete uh, the first one, then go for the next one. To be fetched, to be decoded, and to be executed. So, if you look here in the ARM processor, okay, these are the three process in order to execute the instruction. You need to fetch it. You need to decode and then you need to execute. Uh, uh, PC is the program counter. Okay, as you know, program counter is the uh, is the register that holds the next instruction to be executed. Okay. And why we need PC plus? Actually, this is plus four. Since uh, the process is the other way around, so it, it may be uh, minus 4. It doesn't matter either it is uh, plus or, uh, or minus. Why we need 4? Uh, as you know, that the processor, uh, the ARM processor, instruction set is 32 bit. So 32, if you divide by 8, 8 is a byte where each location of the address is stored in a byte. So it require two, uh, it require four byte, four four location in order to assemble the instruction to become one instruction. So you require four location. That's why we need to uh, plus four. The next one plus eight. Okay, rather than pointing to the instruction be executed, PC can point the instruction to be fetched. Okay, uh, this is the brief uh, explanation about pipeline. If you have pipeline, means that you can increase the speed of the processor to execute the instruction. But we have draw drawback of the pipeline. Which uh, maybe later on, or uh, we are not discussing in this uh, topic yet. Okay, this is the instruction set, ARM um, instruction set format. If you look from here, we have uh, bit number zero until 
gate that you want. So the total number of gate is 32 gates. Okay, these are the instruction type. At the right side, okay, for example, data processing okay, in the first uh, column. Uh, this is not really accurately aligned, but you can see the first one to the first uh, to the first uh, row. Okay, if you look in uh, in B31 until B28, all the instructions are reserved with condition. Okay, all the instructions with, uh, are uh, reserved with the condition. So what we mean by condition, we are going to discuss it later. This is the condition execution. Most instruction set only allow branches to be executed on conditionally. Means that uh, not all branches are going to execute based on the result of uh, execution. No. So if we look at the condition, it is a condition. Execution. However, by using the condition, we get evaluation hardware. We send ARM effectively increase the number of instruction to be executed. Okay, all instruction contain a condition field, as I mentioned, as you look in the previous slide. Where all the instruction contain a condition field which determine whether the CPU will execute it or not. Okay. If you put this condition when uh, the CPU read it, it will uh, consider either to execute it or not. But if a non-executed instruction if the CPU find out that the condition is cannot be executed the instruction, then it will soak up one cycle. Means that you are wasting one cycle uh, of the processor time. Why? Because you still need uh, to complete the cycle as to follow patching and decoding of the following instruction. So you still need complete the cycle. Okay, this remove the need for many branches which stall the pipeline okay, to recycle it. When you have a branches, for example, the pipeline will be stalled. You need to remove all the other instructions and put a new one. So you are losing time. Uh, allow very dense inline code without branches. You don't need a branches because you have a condition. You can check the condition. The time penalty for not executing several condition of the instruction is frequently less than overhead for the, of the branch. If you make a branch, if, if you have a branch, the wasted time of the microprocessor is higher compared if you put it in branch. If you uh, if you put in condition for each instruction, if you put condition mean that you are losing one cycle of uh, CPU time if you are not executing it. If you use the branch, you are going to take more more than one three. Most probably, if you have a higher number of pipeline, is uh, is going to be higher, uh, longer time wasted by the processor. Okay, uh, time penalty of executing several condition instruction is frequently less than overhead of the branch or subroutine call. That would otherwise be needed. Okay. 
now we look at the collision okay, the, the collision field okay uh, these are all the instruction uh, 32 bit okay, instruction okay you are using bit 28 until bit 31 which are only 4 bit Uh, for example, if you put the uh, instruction with EQ means that uh, in the instruction, instruction code, B28 until B39 is 0, 0, 0, 0. Mean equal, uh, EQ mean if Z is Z. Zero, uh, zero flag is set. Zero flag is one. You check either the zero flag is set or not. If it is set, then you can execute the instruction. If not, you cannot execute the instruction. Okay, that is the, uh, the condition that you put in order to execute the instruction. And same goes to the other, uh, the other examples. Okay, now we look at the next slide. Okay, using and updating the condition field. Okay, to execute instruction conditionally, simply prefix it with the appropriate condition. Okay, we look at this example. If you look at the first example, an add instruction takes the form okay, add R0, R1, R2 means that uh, R1 plus R2 and store it in R0. Okay, uh, this is what it is. Uh, is it Okay, if you want to execute the instruction only if the zero flag is set, okay, now you can write the code to check the zero flag. Okay, if the zero flag is uh, set, then you execute the instruction okay, by adding at EQ. See, EQ. You add this mean that you add the condition. Only execute the instruction if only the zero flag is set. Then it will be the same as the uh, the previous one. Okay. If you don't put the condition, means that you are going to execute it anyway. In all condition, you are going to execute it. But in uh, in the second example, second code, you only uh, you only execute it when the zero flag is set. Okay. Where actually by default the data processing operation do not af uh, affect the condition flag by default. Apart from the comparison where this is the only effect, okay, uh, comparison, you don't have any output other than you didn't make any changes to the register, actually, the register that you use to compare. The only effect is to modify the uh, uh, flag when you execute it. Okay, so by default, actually, any instruction, data processing instruction, didn't give any effect to the condition flag. Okay. So in order uh, to make the condition flag to be updated, mean to reflect to whatever uh, result of the instruction, the S bit of the instruction need to be set by prefixing a post fixing the instruction and any uh, any condition code okay with an x
uh, with an S. So, if let's say after you execute this instruction, you want to check the register, uh, the flag register, then you need to put S. See S here. Okay, if you put S here, means that whatever result from here, you will update the register flag. If the result of uh, adding R1 and R2 uh, is zero, then zero flag will be set. So you have to bear in mind that by default, data processing will not affect. If you don't put, you just, if you put just like add only, means that it didn't give any effect to the uh, flag uh, register, uh, to the flag. It, it didn't update the flag. So you need to add S and the instruction in order update the uh, register. Okay, this is the branch instruction. This is the format of branch instruction. Okay. Uh, you have branch where you put the condition and then where to go, level. This is assembly language, how do you write it? Okay, and then this is the branch with link. With branch, condition, and then you put a submitting level. Okay. If you look at the format, uh, at the link bit, bit number 24, if you put 0, mean it is branch. If you put 1, you set it, it means that it is branch with link. Okay. The offset uh, for branch instruction is calculated by the assembler. Assembler is the one that calculates. Once you write the write the instruction, for example, label here, this offset will be calculated by the assemble, assembly, assembler. Okay. And you have to bear you should be within this uh, value, I mean offset, in order to uh, have a value without any error of the instruction. So by taking the difference between the branch instruction and the target address minus 8, minus 8, you require this to allow for the pipeline. The pipeline process require 8, as, uh, as we discussed before. So this give uh, 26 bit offset which is the right shifted two bits as we know each each address location address location inside the arm is zero zero at the first two bit okay bit zero and bit one is zero zero as the bottom two bit are always zero and instruction are word means instruction are 32 uh, bit line and store into the instruction coding. So this the label this give a range of plus minus 32 megabyte. Okay. The range for the offset. Okay. The range for the offset. This is the limit that you can go to uh, further. is for the branch instruction. When executing the instruction, the processor shift the offset left two bits, left two bits, okay. 
says the bit is always zero. Sine extend it to 32 bit. 32 bit. Okay, the offset inside the previous instruction format. And then you add to the program counter. That is where you want to know the level that you are going uh, uh, to the program counter for the next instruction to be executed. Execution then continues from the new program counter once the pipeline has been refilled. The branch with link instruction implement a subroutine call by writing the PC minus four into the uh, LR register current uh, current bank LR LR register is a link register if you are using the subroutine where the address of the next instruction following the branch with link allowing for the And to return from the subroutine, okay, you just simply restore back the program counter. Okay, the program counter is register uh, that old uh, address to be executed. And the link register is being filled up before uh, it goes to the branch. Just move LR. Again, the pipeline has to be refilled before execution continues. Okay. If you go for the branch, ah, this is the, uh, you are losing time a bit. You are wasting the process of time a bit. Okay, the branch instruction does not affect LR. We didn't give, uh, we didn't, Update the LR. Okay. okay, architecture uh, uh, 40 version of a further. Okay, this is, we are not going to discuss this. Okay, for that, I close the, close the session. We are going to continue next. Assalamualaikum and good day. Bye.